I went to All You Can Eat a couple days ago. And now you might think, oh yeah, that's that's cool. That's social and fun. Wrong. It was social, but I did not have any fun at all. This was because the cost of this All You Can Eat was $40. This was a shitty situation for me because I wasn't particularly hungry. Like, not hungry at all. So this is where capitalism got its grubby little hands on me. I ended up eating about $15 worth of food because I just wasn't that hungry. That leaves $25 worth of money that I spent just to, I don't know, look at the sushi chef a little longer. I don't know if I'll ever get that $25 back. Every time I think about it, my stomach turns and somewhere out there, a man in a black suit is laughing and saying, Haha, I got your $25 and I am never giving it back. <laughs> you know how how billionaires talk. I felt so ashamed. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Everywhere I go, I, I see his face. I, I can't even look at food anymore. Wait. I knew that I wanted this to start around 12, so at 11.30, I left to go and eat my last meal. All right, I'm gonna go and eat my last meal for the weekend. That was... Is that an okay sound? Shut up! Learn to fucking grab! Jesus Christ! Good. A small burrito, if that's all right. Whole wheat, please. A pinto bean, and then corn. That's all, yeah. This is all the food that's going in my mouth this weekend. 12.06. So at 12.06 on Sunday is when I can start eating again. From what I hear, the max amount of time that you can go without eating is three days. I don't know if that's a myth or not. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna die because of this. If I died because of this, that would be funny. After I ate, I was feeling like really good. Like I was feeling really optimistic about finishing this challenge. But then the unthinkable happened. I got hungry. 8.15, the first big strike of hunger just hit me. I don't know why. I think it might have something to do with the fact that I'm not eating. I've been drinking water throughout the day though. Let's see, nutrition facts. Oh, there's zero calories in this. So, it's officially been eight and a half hours since I've eaten solid food. You guys have no idea what I would give for a little for a little snack, but this is the Pokemon Sleep app. So it's gonna track how long it takes for me to fall asleep. So yeah, I'll report back to you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Strangely enough, I'm actually not that hungry. I, I just feel gross, but we can we can check the sleep data together here <laughs> What the fuck my sleepy sleep GEP ass slept for 12 fucking hours But hey, it's too late to start worrying whether this is good for me or not. I'm I'm, I'm in too deep Also, it was time for my morning water. Hey Ko, how is that water tasting? It's like it's a little watery. And then since it was still morning and I just took a shit, I wanted to see how much I weighed. 174.2, so like a couple pounds off. Sorry I couldn't show you me putting my feet on the scale. You guys are really weird. Those pictures of my feet would probably be found on many corners of the internet where I do not want it to be. Then noon was starting to roll around and my body felt some things that it has never felt before. I, I don't mean that sexually, I, I just- So really now, I'm just lying down watching movies and ignore that light it's uh it's it's dying and and every now and then i'll get these like bursts of like not being hungry at all do you mind and then it's like one to two hour pe stop stop good I'll just I'll just let it let it do its thing and then the rest of the day was pretty uneventful actually I didn't really do much except for suffer uncontrollably 356 uh, at this point I'm just like I'm so excited for bedtime to come because at least then I'm not able to think about how much I want food right now And then at about 6 p.m. I weighed myself again 603 p.m. And I'm weighing 173 pounds which was weird to think about because, yes, most of that weight is probably water weight, but a lot of that weight is probably also shit. Like, think about that. Think about how there's like a pound of shit in your body right now. Sorry. So I opened Pokemon Sleep and just hoped that I would never wake up. I don't know what it is about these mornings, but I feel like a limp penis. I'm just the limpest dick around. Anyways, Pokemon Sleep. Jesus Christ. Since I slept for 10 fucking hours, I did not have to wait long for 48 hours to be up. Look at that. It's where we started. So now you might think, hey, the, the challenge is over now, right? So I can go and eat sushi to my heart's desire. But that would be because you have a smooth, dumb brain. That would be speed running refeeding syndrome. I have to ease myself into eating a decent meal. Because after starving yourself for two days, tummy not strong. Tummy more like sleeping beauty. Tummy needs to be woken up with a kiss. The kiss being easily digestible foods like yogurt and 
broth. Going to All You Can Eat is a lot like waking up Sleeping Beauty with a gas-powered lawnmower. She would be disgustingly injured, and her tummy would hurt real bad. 12.06, which means I can put this in my mouth now. There's, there's actually nothing funny about this. Like, I'm, I'm so grateful to be living in a part of the world where this isn't the reality, where I don't have to wonder where my next meal is gonna come from, where I can just eat, because unfortunately that's not the reality for a lot of the world, so. I feel great, like, like, Jokes aside, I, I feel so good. Later on, it is very important that I listen to my body and what it tells me. So after an hour, I didn't have a heart attack, which was probably a good sign. So I moved on to a salad and then I ate a grilled cheese. And then it was time for the final boss, the all you can eat restaurant. Was good again. <laughs> this is Jet. Jet is a Canadian youth national athlete in track and field, and his main race is the 400 meter dash. His time in that event is 47.7 seconds, which is the fastest in Canada this year. He is going to all you can eat with me, and of course, as a world class sprinter, he thinks he can eat more than I can. Hungry? Very. Usually in the shorter distance, they're heavier, but as you get to longer distance, they're skinnier, which I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty skinny, but you know, I have a high metabolism. I think I could eat a lot. Normally, I eat four meals a day, so I think that's one more meal than the average person. I can't go anywhere without food with me. Okay. Sounds good. I Sounds say good. I'm fairly hungry. Little does he know, my hungry ass is going in for more than just a little nibble. Jet started off with like a teriyaki roll or something, and then I started off with 10 pieces of red tuna sashimi. Now, you might be wondering, Ko? Why red tuna sashimi? Well, here's the thing. Remember that my main objective is to win back my $25. Of all of the items on the menu, the carbs would fill me up the fastest. I would explode on like $15 worth of rice. Sashimi, on the other hand, is just the fish. And what's the most expensive fish on the menu? Red tuna sashimi. Look, they're even strategic about it. They put the sashimi at the very bottom of the menu. So if I were to eat only red tuna sashimi, then hypothetically, I would be maximizing my profits. Jet actually ordered and ate a lot of sushi like i was genuinely wondering if i was gonna lose to him but then he started slowing down feeling it oh yeah dude this, de this game here bro and eventually he stopped altogether I'm tapping out, bro. You're gonna have to help me with these. I was still going strong, though. At this point, I had cleared about 40 pieces of sashimi, and I still had a lot of room left in me. How's still bro still going with the sashimi yet? By the end, the menu was cluttered with my sashimi orders. No red tuna within a 50-mile radius was safe. But then, I started getting full and it was about time to wrap up. I finished up all the fish, and for dessert, I unwinded with three miso soups, two mousse cakes, and one of every ice cream flavor they offered. After we paid, we went back to my car to unwrap our experience. All right, that's a wrap. Man, you got an addiction to fish <laughs> Like Those cakes, you ordered two mango cakes. When they hit the table, I looked away, I looked back, they were both gone. I don't know how you ate like that though, bro. This was an, a, an experiment. Uh, I found a new like drug, and then apparently it hits after like three hours, you can just eat a bunch and your stomach can expand. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> what the hell this is the drug are you talking about? I didn't eat for two days. Two? Nah. No, just, no calories, nothing. No calories. Nah. <laughs> I thought it was a competition at first. I was, at the start, I was kind of beating you because you didn't want to eat yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. after that, you just took off. <laughs> Dude, that's a shimmy. You had to have like 500 grams of protein. Like, that's just fat and protein. I like, ate a lot. Minutes. On God, I ate a lot. <laughs> and then you just kept going. See, I probably eat that much in about three meals, I say. I say in one day, I eat just a little bit more than we did. You're, you're going to have to fast for that. <laughs> the toilet is not going to survive. The sashimi actually is the most expensive item. Is that why he kept doing it? Yeah. Just kept like, <laughs> like, fuck this company, Ron. Essentially, yeah. So if we were to pull out a calculator, just on sashimi alone, $180 worth of sashimi. I, I would go back there for sure. Man. I would not eat as much because I was like kind of competing with you and then you took off. <laughs> I don't know how you ate 60, bro. And so would you say that we succeeded in like beating the all-you-can-eat restaurant? Oh, like 100%, eating? bro. Overall, it was a good experience, but I do have one last thing that I need to mention. I do not recommend that you do this at all. The way that you're actually supposed to eat a lot has nothing to do with starving yourself. It has everything to do with eating foods that help your stomach stretch. Things like fruit and soups and whatnot. So the reason why I did this, honestly, is because it's funny as fuck. And for some reason, you guys really like watching me suffer. It, it's it's weird. So then, how did I eat that much sashimi? I mean, like, the truth is, I just, I just eat a lot sometimes. And I don't think the fast really helped that much. It just made my stomach hurt a little more than usual. Well, I probably have mercury poisoning now, but otherwise, get home safe and stay kind, everyone. What'd you just say? We ain't like pigs to beat the pigs. <laughs> Capitalism. <laughs>